Hey everyone, this is Meyer, and in this video what I'm gonna do is show you how to make a sub lead arpeggio. What this is gonna do is sit under the main lead, and this will be really nice for during the breakdown. When the lead comes in, you wanna add a little bit of rhythm, but you're not trying to have the, your sub bass in, and you can use this in place of the sub pad to keep your track sounding interesting. So here's the sub pad, and here's the lead with the sub lead, here it comes. And without it, and by itself, this is just what it sounds like. So pretty basic sound, but it really, really adds a lot during these breakdown sections when you don't have your kick and sub. All right, so to make this sound, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this init patch that we have. And all I'm gonna do is give it a name, call it sub lead. This is fine, and we're gonna give it the arpeggiation symbol because we're gonna be using the arpeggiator for this. So I'm gonna select the sub pad, and actually what I'm gonna do is click on this and click make unique. That way what I'm gonna do here is just simply, you know, call this sub lead and take the sub pad MIDI and put it on this new sub lead. And basically what we're gonna do is be using the arpeggiator to just kind of create a, I guess a sub lead would be the way to call it. So we're gonna call, we're gonna turn this up. Actually, maybe not. Something like this. And what we're gonna be using are these kind of basic waveforms like triangles and signs and such. So what I'm gonna do is copy this to two and copy this to three. And we're gonna put these on different octaves. And maybe this one will go down an octave. And for this one, maybe we'll use trusty sign. And once again, we'll use a filter. This butter filter is good. I may use the MS filter just from the Korg MS-20. Maybe a little bit of saturation. I like this dynamic boost, but I don't want to be doing it too much. So maybe plus four. We don't really need any of the effects on, to be honest. We're mainly gonna be using the arpeggiator. So what I'm gonna do is something like this. Um, we're just gonna use these first two, something like this. And I am gonna use the glitch sequencer for the reason of using the gate. And the reason for this Maybe just two steps. And maybe the filter envelope too. Yeah, so that sounds like pretty good. So let's see what happens when we move to the sub lead. And I think what I want to do with this macro is just simply turn, use this to, to bring up the volume. 
So we're just going to bring this over to here. And then all the way up. I think we can also do or perhaps we can do the other way Yeah, like that. So we can tweak this tools last week and we're gonna create the automation clip. And simply what I'm gonna do here, the reason I wanna do this is when the sub lead hits, uh, I want it to kind of fade out at the end. There we go. Yeah, that's, I like that. I think that sounds pretty good. Once again, it, it doesn't, you don't really need it. You can use the side pad. I'll admit, I don't typically use sub leads. Occasionally I do, but sometimes it's nice to get the variety. So I wanted to show you guys how this is done. So we'll just bring this to its own automation clip like so. And now we have this on its own channel. Very cool. 